Easter chocolate time. Oh my gosh. Ching, ching, ching. All kinds of chocolate. It's like an Easter present, and I can't wait to eat it. Let's see. Oh. I'm going out to actually celebrate a friend's birthday at East Coast Park. So I just ate a bit of that chocolate and then now um, brand new long weekend ahead. Monday, Tuesday, it's public holiday. So yeah, I'm so excited for this weekend, but it's a bit rainy nowadays, so maybe I should bring an umbrella. Let's go. Um, still gotta put on a mask. Oops. Not today's fit. Some bubble tea because today is bubble tea day. Oh, look, uh, SPF 500. Yeah, I can't afford a hole. Lying down. <laughs> 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 you're acting not bad. Uh, you're acting not bad. Come, you act like you never realized what. Okay. Hang on, Kate. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. I buy no. Birthday to Sam. Oh my god, you're so happy after so long. Bye. 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 Blow and make a wish. Very squeezy. Please blow your candle. Please blow your candle now. No, you use the lighter, then you blow out the lighter. The lighter can't even light. Okay, we are here. Pit stop at the slide. It's like, uh, I think, three stories high and then you slide down from here. Yeah, but as you can see, mostly for kids, but uh, adults like me can do it too. So. Uh, we are letting the girls go first and we're taking care of the bikes here because I don't think there's a proper parking on the app. Yeah, and then we rented these bikes. It goes for like um, $4 for the first 30 minutes and then 6 cents thereafter. Okay, going up to level 3 to take the crazy ride down. Ben is going to jump down. <laughs> He's scared so he brought the plastic bag. Today we're meeting some friends going to cafe but uh, while well, on the way I think this uh, lady got lost, so we're trying to bring her to the bus stop. Yeah, and the, the weather is very hot, but apparently, see, she has the tongkwan of my sunglasses. <laughs> Hello, ni hao. We do Today, the Maybe we have little fungus. Hey, little fungus. <laughs> bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Came to this random store in uh, Heartland. It's a Japanese store. Let's gonna go in. So now we're waiting for coffee, the queue is super long. I've been here once, it's been like four years since I last came here. Uh, the coffee is really good here, so do come and try. Waiting for my coffee to be ready, it's been brewed right now. Nylon. And it happens that today is the 10th anniversary, so happy birthday. <laughs> Oh my god, the queue is so long. Oh my gosh, still like 
super far away from the entrance. I think we have to wait another like 30 minutes. So drinking my coffee from my lawn. Sip sip. If you drag me up tonight, I'll just watch from here outside. What you want from me? Just came out of the entire book fair. But some things we'll share with you guys when I got, get home. Now it's almost 7, I'm gonna get dinner. I just wanna share what I bought yesterday from the book fair. So that was the SG Singapore book fair. And I got some things. This and this. Um, they are actually some notepads from the Allergo print. This is company. So they actually used the scrap papers that were not used for actual production to actually make this um, notepads and uh, yeah actually I bought them I actually brought some of these things I use this this one I use as a to-do list but this one I'm just gonna write it as like a scrap paper also maybe to-do list I really enjoy journaling down things and then just striking them off it makes me feel more productive and yeah when I strike things off I feel like that sense of achievement and it keeps me going like makes me feel like I want to do more I don't know if it works for you guys but yeah and along with that um, they also gave a set of postcards not, not really postcard like note cards so very simple quotes but like mainly the gist is um, to you know remember that it's okay to relax it's okay to chill so that's that and I actually wanted to say that I will be going through Korea and this time I will be also going with the Korean Tourism Board and visiting the Jolanamdo province so do look out for the vlogs coming up I just uh, watched the movie Marvel Doctor Strange and whatever whatever madness so I just watched that and I came back it's one week to um, the date I'm flying so it's not the, the date I'm departing actually it's not confirmed yet because the tickets apparently are sold out so I'm on the waiting list if not I will just go one day later but it's fine um, yeah and uh, so today I want to actually take the time this weekend to sort out things like packing as well as applying for all the documents that I might need for my travel. So now that Singapore allows travelers to return without um, having a PCR test, because once you're fully vaccinated, you can actually enter back to Singapore for free. So it's just the Korea side that needs um, all the documents and all the tests. So what I need is the KETA, which I had applied previously and it lasts for I think a year and also I need to schedule my PCR test 48 hours before my flight. I also need to do this new thing which I think recently just implemented which is the QPASS. So basically it's a QR code that um, has all the details inside. And then um, yeah I think that's it besides um, notarizing my vaccination status which is the three tests I've done. And yeah that's it. Uh, yes I'll do that and also pack so for the KETA I previously applied so this time I didn't have to do anything so I just print it right away I also got this recovery memo so I have to actually apply this on the website I'll link it down below but basically if you've recovered from COVID you actually need to get this memo and show them that you have recovered yep so I'll go to print this and bring it to the airport as well so if you're looking for a guide to guide you along how to do this process, I actually um, did a kind of a walkthrough on my VTL trip the previous time. So a lot of the steps are actually covered there. So I won't go into detail in this video. Yeah, but you generally know the steps as I have previously mentioned. And I'll also link the brief steps below in the description box. And so do check that out. So I hope it's helpful. So this is actually the Q code. Um, 
yeah, they actually invented this recently and you actually need to have your um, PCR results first because before you can do this so I'll just wait for this um, to do it the day before I fly So I'm actually thinking whether to bring more sweaters or like t-shirts because it's in between the, the change of season and it might get a little bit warm. So look what I've also found, it's my 2016 Pyeongchang Olympics cap. Like bringing these to wear. I like this like quite a vintage piece and it's quite cute right? <laughs> oh, I need a work bag. So maybe a laptop bag. And then I think most of the clothes will be black. So I'm trying to do a black theme and um, just coincidentally everything is like black and white. So I guess you'll see like a black and white feed on my Instagram. Yeah, so I think that's about it. So let me get into serious packing mode and stop renting. Okay, so that's the end of the packing. See you guys in Korea and stay tuned for more Korea content.